Hello everyone, this is Saratamon, and today I'm going to be showing you this ship that I made. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this before or after my other door video, uh, that being the pantographical door, which it'll pretty much only say in the title because I didn't mention it being a pantograph in the video. Uh, I'm saying that, of course, because I am going to have another video of an iris door that I made. But this is for a pantographical door, which is how the hangers on the other side of this unfinished ship are set up. I probably won't end up finishing this. I might. Uh, if anyone is interested in me finishing it, I will. But it has a lot of work that still needs to be done, and it mainly was built as a test of concept for the pantographical door. It moves not incredibly well, but better than uh, some larger ships do. Uh, before showing you the actual mechanism, I might as well go around and show you how the dorm works. Now, if you couldn't tell already, these gray slabs to either side are the doors. And normally, if the doors are like this, and the oh, if the panel of the door is like this, the openings right there, you'd expect to be able to just slide over. However, something I was thinking of is uh, just that if you have a piston door like that, you only have one contact point to the hinge, and that's very easy to be broken in any kind of strike. I have gravity, of course. But if you have a more complex hinge system, like I have set up here, which I'll show you in a moment, you'll be able to have a door that can survive it, one of its hinges being broken. You can have multiple hinges on it. So this is the overall ship. Might as well just briefly show forward acceleration. Stop. Rear acceleration. Stop. Up and down. Left and right. Not fantastic, but then again, I don't. Usually, I'll add uh, engine nacelles near the rear of any ship that I make, so this. If I finish, it should handle considerably better than it does. As well, just for turning. I'm not going as fast as it can go right now because I don't want to. Oh, there it is. I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I'll just quick load this to undo any of damage from that. Again, this is a test of concept, so I don't expect it to withstand damage fantastically. Especially when the doors are open, it uh, it uh, is considerably less stable than when they are closed. Alright, so let's get back in the cockpit here. Out a bit. Get down to where the rotors are. And only rotors 1 and 2 actually have to be powered. So, let's set these. I'm not going to turn them on yet because I forgot. I have to disable the landing gear. Okay. Landing gear is disengaged. Now slide back down. Turn them on. And it's relatively slow, but by now you should see the door is starting to move. And as I said, because they are pantographs in their hinge orientation, they will move away from the ship and then back as they slide. Um, again, one of the main reasons that I'm considering not finishing this is those hinges are very... the arms of the pantograph are very close together, and that makes this 
considerably unstable, seeing as it is slightly longer on one side of the arms than it is on the other. Um, but here it's almost halfway. And one thing I do very much like about making the pantographs like this is if you were to stop it here, turn off reactor so it stops right here, it's very easy to maintenance the pantographs when it is at the halfway point. And that also is where it is built. Turn reactors back on so it continues moving. This is rather slow, but then again, that's because it's relatively unstable with only the two that are close together near the middle, and it tends to enjoy wobbling from left to right. And you can see those landing gears there are to secure the door, as there are some up here to secure it when it's open, though those ones do not hold it quite as well. And the ha actual hangar bay and an observation deck. And then as this comes close, I'm going to start turning the reactors on and off in order to make it easier to slow down the doors so that they don't collide too hard. And how's that? I'd say that's pretty good. Even still, I'll give it a moment. I think I noticed a slight dent at some point? Yeah, there's a slight dent in the... Uh... Starboard? Uh... Towards the rear? I don't know all the names, I just know primarily port. So I'm a... So I think Starboard's the opposite of that? Uh... Feel free to say in the comments if anyone actually watches this. I don't expect much. But anyway... I turn... Since the reactors are off... Oh, I should probably... Landing gear locked. And now let's head over to see how well it seals. First look from the outside. Aside from the dent, that is pretty much flush. And if you get really close, you can see the slight gap there, but when you're like right here, that is pretty close for any kind of door. Especially in this, when it's powered by rotors. Now let's go inside to see how good of a seal it is on the interior. Which I think I like considerably better. Because as we get down here... Oh right, since I turned off the generators, the uh, gravity is turned off. But yeah, that's the kind of seal that you end up with. You can barely see out of it. And you may be wondering how the hinges are actually set up. Um, okay, yeah, I am going to have to turn everything back on. Let's see if I can turn them on from here. They'll first have to turn off rotors 1 and 2. There we go. Sun gravity. Open this. And in here is the maintenance access. Here you can see the small reactors that I was using to power it during our initial tests. And here's the inside of the door. If we walk over to the hinge, here you can really see how well the seal is in that you can walk over it, you will not fall through. So you could potentially make walkways using a similar method to this that would extend and retract. That would be stronger again than having only one rotor. So. I have 
at the moment four rotors for each door, though only one is powering it and the others are used as more secure hinge points, and as well, if one rotor were taken out, you could power up a And what I have uh, as the hinges is this. You may be wondering what this is. And what this is, is ore detectors. If I turn that up, right there. Now, I spent a while trying to think of what kind of things could be used as hinges, because at one point I tried using these interior pillars, though the results were not exactly satisfying in the slightest. So, I then was seeing, well, can any of the round things be used? I was thinking of using the uh, trying to see with a thruster when I noticed the ore detector. Now these, unless, like, in between the time of my recording this and it being uploaded there was a patch, these don't actually do anything yet. However, one thing that you notice if I put this up next to it is that there is a very slight gap in the, between the top of this block and the ledge there. What this means is that you are able to place solid blocks all around it. Then remove that, and now you have a completely solid hinge, which turns very well as I've found in this. And it can be doubled up, and if locked together in the way that I did with rotors holding the outer arms, with the hinge having these in the middle between them, uh, no matter how much it's used, it won't. This part won't slide off of the hinge, as I had happen a few times in testing, and as you can see, is happening right now. Because I think the ship seems to be moving. Ah. Cool. But, uh, that's the basics of this design that I came up with, and I hope to see other people come up with new interesting things using this hinge design, because I've never seen this used before in any of the videos I've looked up for this game, and honestly, that can improve a lot of things that I have seen, such as, uh... One thing I'd seen is that assault door. I can't remember who made it. I will look into that and put it in the description. But what I did, what I did see was that the hinge in that could have some room for being more secure. And having a hinge like this would definitely allow it to be more secure. And you could make the in, the entire door out of a large ship as well. Uh, one thing as well, on top of that, is I have not found out yet how to make stations with this, because every time I've tried, part of it being station blocks does end up making it, um... A few times they've moved, but not every time, so you might ha you have to do something funny with rotor setup to line them up correctly, and it gets rather annoying, just because of how blocks placed on rotors are not, won't exactly line up. Like if, say this was a rotor, the block on top of it would not line up with this block. This one would be slightly higher. Uh, so you'd have to have the rotors set up with another one pointing the other direction to cancel that out in order to get the large ship blocks for the pantograph, and it just starts getting annoying at that point. Uh, anyway, hope you liked it. Uh, if anyone actually sees this. Um... Feels weird to say this, but I guess like, comment, subscribe? Huh? Huh? Maybe? Maybe? Alright, see you guys. This is Serotamon, signing off. Have a nice day.